In this video, we'll look at the equation for Li2CO3 plus H2O, and that's lithium carbonate plus water. So lithium is a metal, and then we have CO3. This is a group of nonmetals. It's called a polyatomic ion. It's the carbonate ion. So often we have ionic compounds. They're often soluble, but carbonates tend to be insoluble when you put them in water. So let's check a solubility table to see if this actually does dissolve in water. So here's our solubility table, and on the left, these are the positive ions, the cations, and, and here's lithium. So we're going to go over until we meet the carbonate. So lithium coming over, and here's carbonate, CO3, 2 minus, and it says SS. That means it's slightly soluble. Some of it will dissolve, but much will remain a solid if you have a lithium carbonate in water. So we can write the equation for the lithium carbonate that dissolves, but just note that most of it won't dissolve. All right, back to the equation. So we have solid lithium carbonate, and we put it in liquid water, and some of it dissolves. And the lithium carbonate that dissolves will split apart into its ions. We'll have Li plus plus carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. Since we have this subscript of 2 here, that means we have two lithium ions. So we do need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the Li. That way we account for all of the atoms on each side of the equation. Next, because it's dissolved in water, or at least part of it's dissolved in water, that part that's dissolved in water, we're going to write a little AQ, which stands for aqueous. Aqueous means dissolved in water. Since we wrote aqueous, we don't need to write H2O on this side of the equation. It's implied by writing the AQ. And that makes this the equation for the Li2CO3 that dissolved in water. Again, not all that dissolved because our solubility table told us that it would only be slightly soluble. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.